Today, the Middle East stands on the brink of full-scale conversion to Muslim Brotherhood fanaticism, yet President Obama does not seem to see the problem. President Obama's hand-picked director of national intelligence, James Clapper, said that the Brotherhood is, quote, largely secular, unquote. President Obama seemed unconcerned about the rise of the Brotherhood in Egypt. In fact, he invited Ikhwan members to his Cairo speech in 2009, tailored the speech to meet the Brotherhood's grievances and indulge his narratives, and cozied up to Muslim Brotherhood American satellites despite their involvement with terror groups all across the world. The Obama policy of courting the Muslim Brotherhood has not changed the brothers. It has empowered them to advance their anti-American program. They are now on the verge of control in Egypt and Libya, and their ideology dominates the Muslim world. But what is the Muslim Brotherhood? Well, in 1928, a young Egyptian educator known as the guide to his followers and Hassan al-Banna to the rest of the world founded a group called the Muslim Brotherhood. The movement was virulently anti-colonial, but not because Banna was a nationalist or an Egyptian patriot. He was neither. Banna's loyalty was to the Muslim Ummah and the ideal that Islam must dominate across national lines. He was anti-colonial because he abhorred the West. The Brotherhood's development was spurred by Turkey's rigorous campaign of secularization. Following the final defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, Kemal Ataturk had spearheaded a successful independence movement, expelling occupiers and establishing an independent state. Determined to turn westward, Ataturk drove Islam out of the public square and marginalized it in the classroom. In 1924, he abolished the caliphate, a symbolically shattering event for Muslims. Banna had drawn precisely the opposite conclusion about the sorry state of the Muslim world. For him, Islam was the solution. The problem had been too little of it, not too much, and not just any Islam. Banna had in mind a very particular brand, Salafism. The term Salafiya comes from a phrase meaning righteous ancestors, referring to Muhammad and his companions. Bana believed that by mixing Islam with modernism, Muslims had strayed from the path. And the only way to restore the Islam of the founders was to faithfully implement divine law called Sharia. With Sharia's injunctions firmly in place, the Muslim nation would inevitably rise to the hegemony that was Allah's due. The Brotherhood remains the foremost power in the Middle East because of its credo. Allah is our objective, the Prophet is our leader, the Quran is our law, Jihad is our way, and dying in the name of Allah is our highest objective. It's widely perceived to be representative of true Islam. In the late spring of 2011, the Mapping Sharia Project published conclusions from an important study. After surveying 100 randomly selected mosques across the United States, the authors found that 81% of them disseminated Islamic texts that advocate violence. In nearly 85% of the mosques, the imam favorably recommended this literature for study by congregants. Moreover, 58% of the mosques invited guest lecturers known for promoting violent jihad. Now this is the ideology of the Brotherhood, and this is the same Brotherhood that has dominated the so-called Arab Spring. It has played President Obama for a fool and the West for suckers.